Hi everyone, it's Lynn. Today I'm excited to share with you all my nail care routine. Let's start off by talking about the items that I normally use. Sally Hansen's Instant Cuticle Remover is my favorite. It makes taking care of your cuticles super easy and the best part is that it's only a few dollars at your local drugstore. Now besides having our cuticle remover, you'll also need some type of cuticle pusher. So the one that I have here is made out of metal, however you can basically find these things made of all types of materials like rubber, wood, plastic, any of them will do. And since I do like to clip my cuticles, here are what my clippers look like. And of course if you prefer not to clip yours, you definitely don't have to. And here are what my nail clippers look like. They're pretty basic, nothing too special, but it's just what I have on hand now and that's what I'm going to use today. This next part is my favorite. It's using the cuticle oil. My new favorite cuticle oil is this NCLA cuticle oil. I love the bottle. It doesn't leak at all, which is amazing, and it smells like sunscreen and reminds me of being at the beach. So I love this stuff so much. All right, enough talking about the products. Let's go ahead and jump into my nail care routine. So first, I like to start by applying the cuticle remover from one edge of my nails all the way around to the other edge, and I make sure to leave the cuticle remover on for at least 20 to 30 seconds to really give it time to soften up my cuticles. All right, now that we've given our cuticles enough time to soften up, I like to go in with a cuticle pusher and slowly and gently push back my cuticles. Once you're done removing your cuticles, you'll get something like this. It looks a little gross at first, but that's nothing a little cotton ball can't fix. So the next thing that I like to do is to go in with a cuticle clipper and I slowly but carefully go in and remove the dead skin around my cuticles. Now remember when it comes to clipping your cuticles that less is always more and if you are fairly new to clipping your own cuticles, be sure to check the info box. I'll be leaving any tips that I have for you all in there. So once we're done removing our cuticles, we'll want to go in with some cuticle oil and make sure to take our time massaging it into our entire nail. While my cuticles are soaking in all the oils is when I like to go ahead and clip my nails. I get tons of comments asking about how I shape my nails and essentially all I do is I clip them straight across and I make sure to file them straight across, that way they don't become rounded. A tip that I have for making sure your nails are all the same length is to focus from your nail bed all the way up to your nail tip, not just from where your free edge is. This makes sure that when your nails are painted that they all appear to be the same length. If you guys would like a more in-depth video on how I shape my nails, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to do that for you guys. And of course, after clipping my nails, I like to go in with a fine grit nail file, making sure to file in one direction and being very careful to make sure that I'm filing my nails straight across, that way I can keep the square shape to my nails. When I'm done filing all my nails, I like to go in and make sure that my nails all line up from the nail beds to the tips to make sure that they're all the same length. Lastly, to finish off my nail care routine, I like to go right back in with the cuticle oil and again massage it into each of my nails carefully from the cuticle all the way up until the tip of my nails to make sure that it's all nice and moisturized. Alrighty guys, so that actually takes us to the end of my nail care routine. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful and if you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. I will greatly appreciate it. And if you guys are interested in seeing my weekly hand and nail treatment routine, please let me know in the comments and I'll make that happen for you all. I hope to see you guys soon in a later video. Bye everyone!